Hello lovelies, welcome back once again to my channel. This is my soft kitchen and I hope you are all doing well and keeping safe. It's nice to have you here. So today I'm sharing with you my chicken pie recipe. So stay with me and let's get started. Part of my soft kitchen. You proud to be part of my soft kitchen. Here are my ingredients for the filling. I have my green peas, my chicken thighs, carrots, mushrooms, chopped white onions, curry powder, anise seed, chicken seasoning, garlic powder, chicken cubes, and my black pepper. So in my pan, I'll add in a bit of vegetable oil when it heats up i'll add in my chicken thighs i've nicely cleaned my chicken thighs with vinegar solution and have cut it into my own preferable sizes kindly subscribe to this channel i post new videos every week and do not forget to activate your notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you'll be first to know I'll then go ahead and add in my anise seed, garlic, chicken seasoning, curry powder, add in my two chicken cubes, and then mix this all together. I'll then go ahead and add in my black pepper. You want just a little heat in there and then stir this nicely and let this continue cooking after 20 minutes of cooking I'll go ahead and take all the chicken out of the pan and with the same pan I'll add in a bit of oil add in my chopped white onions and let this cook until it becomes soft I'll add in my chopped carrots I'll list all the ingredients in the description box below. Then give a nice stir and let this cook for about 3 minutes. I'll go ahead and add in my mushrooms and then mix this all together. Add a bit of salt to bring some taste in these veggies. If today is your first time stopping by, a warm welcome to you. Do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be first to know. And to my old subscribers, God bless you. I'll go ahead and add in my chicken and then mix this all together with the veggies. This feeling is dope. It tastes really, really good. I'll then go ahead and add in my green peas. We are almost done. So I'll mix this all together and off my stove immediately. Just look at this goodies. It tastes good. I'll let this cool off whilst we go ahead and start making our crust. Into my flour, I'll add in my salt, my nutmeg, add in my baking powder and then mix it all up. I have my milk and my butter. My butter is unsalted butter. That's why I added some salt to bring some taste into our crust. I'll mix this all together. I added a bit of flour into my food processor and went ahead and added part of the butter onto it. I'll cover it and use the pause button to mix this together. You can also use your hand, but make sure you use your fingertips so you don't introduce too much heat into this. And make sure you don't mix it too much to develop gluten in this. We are trying to avoid gluten. So now I'll go ahead and add in 
my milk it is very chilled the butter was also chilled so add it in bit and then begin mixing this all together and then form a dough I'll continue the same process until I'm done. If today is your first time stopping by, I want to welcome to you. Do not hesitate to be part of this family by subscribing. I'll then wrap it into my plastic foil and let this sit in the fridge for about an hour. Just look at this it's going to relax in the fridge so here I have my one egg I'll add in a bit of milk and then mix this all together I'll lightly flour my surface and then use my rolling pin to spread my dough out so I can cut them up I'll use this container to cut up my dough I'll continue cutting it until I'm done so we can begin with the filling. Yes. So here we are. I'll spread the egg and the milk mixture around the dough and then begin filling it. I use my fingertips. To close this up just like that if today is your first time stopping by hello my name is Masov please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video you will first to know and to my hope subscribers God bless you for watching all my videos all the time I really appreciate you yes and now go ahead and do the egg wash on top of my pies I'm preheating my oven at 180 degrees so this goes right into my oven for just 20 minutes and voila just look at this it looks amazing and it tastes so delicious and it is very very flaky if you really like this video please give me some thumbs up comment like and share with your family and friends thank you so much for watching until i come your way next time with another delicious recipe bye for now smart click eater